Welcome back to the John Mandola Show here at WILK. Well, the Lake Lehman Boys Lacrosse has been very patient waiting and uh, had a big studio full today with Forest City and the Lake Lehman Girls. Chris Hample, the head coach, with us today. And, Coach, welcome into the show. Thanks for having us, John. Well, uh, we've got some guys in here with us. Uh, let's talk about numbers with your squad. Uh, how many guys are playing lacrosse at Lake Lehman? I think we got about 17 this year. Uh, we've maintained that number for the last few years, so uh, kind of – Kind of low numbers as compared to some of the other teams in our league. Well, let's talk about quality, what you have with the guys that you do have out there on the field and getting the most out of them. Uh, talk about guys coming back and some experience on your team. We, uh, we're we a young team. This is kind of a rebuilding year for us. We graduated 11 seniors last year. Um, we have two seniors this year, so we have a lot of uh, sophomores and freshmen. All right. Uh, we're going to talk to a freshman here yes, we pretty, are. pretty darn quickly. Um, talk about getting freshmen up to speed to play varsity sports. That's not an easy thing. No, it's not. Um, a lot. Uh, the learning curve is pretty steep. So uh, we, we found that out our, uh, our first league game against Wyoming area. Um, our, our guys are willing to put the effort in working hard so far, so we're, we're getting better every day. Now tell us about uh, Marshall Wodrowski and, and what he brings to your team this year as a freshman. One of our freshmen, uh, Marshall, is a, is a two-way player, can play midfield, can play attack. Uh, we don't have too many goals on the season yet, but Marshall has most of them for our team. So uh, he's a grinder. He goes out there, gives us 100, 110% every day he's out there. Um, like I said, I can put him in the midfield. I can put him on attack. And he, uh, he brings his A game the entire time he's on the field. All right, let's welcome in Marshall Wodrowski here on the John Mandola Show. And Marshall, for you, uh, uh, talk about the, the learning curve here and, and playing varsity sports. It's a pretty physical game, that's for sure. Is that the biggest thing? Uh, is the physicality or is it the, the skill set that you've seen so far? Um, just personally, I think it's the, like the skill of varsity. It's just uh, different transitioning into playing, from, playing with 8th graders and 7th graders now playing with grown men and seniors. Basketball, another sport you do at Lake and Lehman, so you're pretty darn busy, but um, talk about the, you do much traveling with the lacrosse? Um, uh, no, I have a, I'm currently like a little slow now, but when the summer's coming, uh, I'm definitely be getting in more lacrosse. All right, so you're you're picking up on it a little bit. Now yeah. you got a couple siblings that are a little younger. I'm sure they're looking up to you and coming out to the games. Yep, uh, I have a brother, uh, Ty, he's in eighth grade. He does track. He's pretty darn fast. Um, does the cross. He's a really good defenseman coming up next year for us. And uh, my sister, she's eight. She's in third grade. She's uh, a really good soccer player. That's awesome. And, of course, uh, you're a real good student, 3.5 grade point average. Let's talk about some of those role models in your life and uh, how they inspire you. Uh, yeah, uh, one of my uh, role models is a YouTuber, Ramel Dockery. He, uh, he makes videos. He played football at Oregon State. Uh, he just inspires like all of his viewers, and including me, to just go out there and work hard every day. All right, Marshall, we'll go get him out there on the field, okay? All right, thank you. Let's get back over to Coach Hample here on the John Mandola Show. And uh, Coach, another uh, person we're going to meet with here, it's uh, Christian Diana. And tell us a little bit about Christian. Uh, Christian's a sophomore. He, uh, he runs our get offensive game from behind at X. He's an attackman. Um, he has two goals on the season, I believe. Uh, in recent leg injuries kept him out of our last, uh, last contest. Uh, unfortunately, but he's on, he's on the mend and looking to get uh, get ready for next week's uh, slate of games. All right, Christian Diana here on the John and Dola Show. And, uh, Christian, talk about uh, what you enjoy about the game of lacrosse. Um, I think what I enjoy most about it is how fast-paced it is and how um, it's more of a thinking man's game. You know, you have to act on the spot and you have to think about, all right, I've got guys here and I've got guys here. What's my course of action is going to be, and how can I adapt that as the game progresses? Well, you're a thinker yourself. There, uh, chemistry three point eight seven. Uh, talk about the the goals down the road. Um, I'm looking to uh, put my field into something like sciences. Um, geneticists are one of the uh, that's one of the professions that um, interest me the most because of how malleable um, it is. You know, you can do so many things with it. Uh, and even if that didn't work out, I'd do something, you know, in the medical field with paramedics or a doctor. Always uh, like to hear the, the stories about uh, grandfather, uh, one of your inspirations, and your dad uh, talk about uh, what they do to kind of set set you up for success in life. Yeah, my grandfather, he was a uh, he's a retired neurosurgeon, and he um, I look up to him because he's he worked so hard and he's um, you know tried so hard to learn as much as he could, and he's been passing that down to me and. My dad, he didn't go to college, but he's made his way up the chain of command in state police. He's got a really good 
uh, position in my eyes. And you know, his work ethic and combined with my grandfather's have um, inspired me to work as hard as I can. Yeah, very, uh, very inspirational. Obviously, uh, for you and what you're doing in the classroom, what you're doing out there with athletics. You got a couple siblings as well, a little younger. Mm-hmm. Yeah, um, uh, Centino, uh, my middle brother. He's uh, 14 now. We just had his birthday. He's in eighth grade. Uh, he plays hockey, so it's a little bit of a parallel between our sports. And then we, uh, Nico's my youngest brother. He's in fifth grade. A uh, little bit on the troublesome side, but we still, you know, we still love him for who he is. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good old Nico. You gotta love it. All right, Christian, go get him. Thank you. All right, let's get back to Coach Hample. Uh, one more fella to talk about this morning with the Lake Lehman Boys Across team coach and uh, Giovanni Ferrari. Tell us a little bit about him. Uh, G has been one of our uh, our defenders. He's a sophomore this year. Last year he was a long stick midi for us. Gave us an outstanding season for his first season ever playing lacrosse. Uh, due to numbers and the situation we have, we had to move him back to a close defender. Uh, adept with the long stick. Uh, got a lot of speed. Uh, good Good shutdown defender for us. And uh, again, like all the other two guys, the past two guys we spoke to gives us 110% every time he's out on the field. All right, let's welcome in Giovanni Ferrari. And Giovanni, uh, defense this year, it's your sophomore year. Uh, talk about uh, stepping up in that position, who the defenders are around you. Uh, I have Chase Button on my other side, and then Josh Derling. He's our junior, our one junior that we have. So uh, he's a big dude. He keeps us on point, you know calling out where the ball is stuff like that and he just keeps us in with our goalie scott robinson too uh he helps us out a lot too and we just our defense defense is i think it's good this year 3.6 grade point average so you're hitting it pretty hard in the classroom you want to go to college down the road you have an idea yet on what you want to study uh not really yet maybe a trade school construction something like that all right and you got two brothers vincenzo and antonio you guys get along pretty well uh, yeah, they're both in college, so I'm the only one in the house. So they're 19 and 20, so they're older than me, so I look up to them. Uh, my Vince, he played lacrosse, and he was a really good player, and I admire that. All right, Lake Lehman Lacrosse.